Hello, snack fiends. It's Adventure Girl here again. Bigfoot and I are doing this, this snack quest up correctly. I've got myself a PBR and some queso dip for sourdough, craft beer, pretzel rings from uh, Unique, the original craft beer pretzel maker. All right. So these are classic Pennsylvania Dutch. They have Marley, barley and hops, and it's a sourdough recipe. So there's 120 calories per serving, zero cholesterol, zero trans fat, and zero saturated fat. So this is a pretty reasonable alternative for a snacky poo. Um, it comes in really big bags, so this would be something that if you're going to take hiking, you're going to have to put in Ziplocs because I didn't find any individual packaging. But let's see what we got here. So, three pretzels is a serving. Get out of here. So, 30 grams of, or 30 grams is about three pretzels, which is a serving. 120 calories and three friggin' pretzels. Wow, okay. Only one gram of fat. Wait, uh, well, no, not, no saturated fat. Okay. Uh, 295 milligrams of sodium. So, these are going to be salty. All right, simple ingredient list though. Unbleached wheat flour, sunflower oil, malted barley, salt, soda, yeast, and hops. It contains wheat and gluten, but of course it's pretzels, good duh. But it is non-GMO, it is kosher, it's cholesterol free and lactose free. So unless you're gluten intolerant, this is gonna be pretty much covering most of the bases. It does not state it's vegan. However, it's friggin' pretzels, so. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I see why it's only, these are pretty good sized pretzels. Okay, I got it, all right. Okay. Cause you know, you can't have beer pretzels and queso dip without beer. And, well, to be honest with you, even though I'm from the Pacific Northwest, not a big beer fan. So PBR or McMenamin's Ruby or actually the hard ciders are more my style. But here we go. So, yeah, these are freaking donut-sized pretzels. Pretty hard tack, sourdough. Let's see what some queso dip. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Gotta wash that down. That was quite tasty. This is a good case. I didn't make this queso dip. I'm not I'm not a great cook. Hate to tell you. That's why I'm snacking. So let's let's have a taste of without just plain old pretzel. Because these have a nice crunch. They're not an overly, I mean, they're salty, but they're not obnoxiously salty. They just have a nice sourdough bread stick pretzel crunch. Yeah, these are good. These are really yummy. They're even better with queso. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to say, more beer in me, that this is a pretty top-notch product. However, it, it needs to come in individual packages. If I can get it in, like, individual, like, snack size, so I wouldn't have to, like, buy a bunch of plastic bags and stuff them in my hiking bag. I mean, it's not a huge difference, just that's yeah, one step. I guess it's not that big of a deal. So I won't mark them down for that after all, but I just don't want to be lazy. Um, in any case, I give these a good solid three and a half. These are quite yummy. Um, I'd give them a four if we'll mark, we'll mark them a half point for the, the individual packaging. But overall, these are quite tasty. I'm going to eat the rest of mine. I'm probably going to have more than three pretzels 
So I'm probably going to do myself a good two, three servings because I got this queso and beer. I got to finish it, man. So thanks for checking in with Snack Quest. Please subscribe to our page, like us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, and check us out online, www.yummyyeti.com. And we look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day.